so now we will go for in the, in the uh, last case we have seen the complexity analysis of binary search and linear search and now we will go for the sorting algorithms the first one that we will do is Mud shot. In case of mud shot, what was the logic of mud shot? That uh, data set is there, suppose. The data set is blindly divided into two parts. The first half is somehow done by one clone second part is also done by another clone how this clone will do the sorting within the first half and second half individually they also follow the same approach they divide the whole thing into two part and somehow there is some other clone which are doing the this first half of this first part of this first half and the second and some other clone second half part of the second half and it will go on in this way so here also we can see that we are dividing the whole space of sorting into several segments and we will stop we have seen that we will stop until we are getting only one element in a segment so you can say that the time taken to execute n num merge upper merge sort on n number of data depend upon two things. Time taken to so sort n by 2 data using merge sort for both half. But here it doesn't end you have to merge them so this two half is for sorting this two time is only for sorting the first half and second half and then then i have to merge them how many data total data is four uh, n so for example assume that you have a situation something like you had total n equal to eight so you have a set having eight locations one two three four five six seven total eight locations and what you have done you have divided the locations into two part in one side this part is sorted say for example the data set is given to 3, 6, 8 and this part is also sorted individually. So suppose this part is uh, say 1, 5, 7, 9. Now see this is present in the whole array somewhere over here but individually this part is sorted and this part is sorted and that's why what we need we need to merge them in an intelligent way and for merging this four data is being searched with one of these four datas i mean if i want to sort in increasing order then this one will be checked with two and whoever is minimum one will store temporarily in some another array one and then this two will be checked with the next value. So obviously two will come. Then three will be checked with this next value. That is three will come. So as soon as all the data sets will get completed, total number of comparison you will find out will be equal to ultimately eight. Because 
we are not comparing 2 with all these values. We are comparing 2 with one of these values, 3 with one of the value, 4, 6 with one of the value and 8 with is one of the value. Similar thing from opposite side also. So that's why if we have a n number of data in an actual set and if you divide it by 2 and sort the first half and second half individually, then if you try to merge them, the total number of comparisons you will have will be equal to n by 2 plus n by 2 because n by 2 number of data for the first half and n by 2 number of data for the second half so as a whole comparison is equal to n the same thing you will find out in the next level if you if you think how what is the i mean how you can divide the t of n by 2 you can say that this t of n by 2 will depend upon t of n by 4 sorting the half of this part and sorting the second half of this part fine but here it doesn't end because this has to merge also then only is this t of n by 2 will get completed so mar for merging this part n by 4 part and n by 4 part the total number of comparison will require n by 4 plus n by 4 that will equal to n by 2 similarly in this side also it will take t of n by 4 and it will take t of n by 4 and the tot add, i mean the for merging this n by 4 it will take n by 4 plus n by 4 equal to n by 2 only for this part n by 2 and for this part it is again n by 2 so if you consider with respect to tn i mean as a whole in the whole level it is n by 2 plus n by 2 equal to ultimately again n so that means if we try to express the march short using recurrence relation i can say that march short will be t of n equal to i can say that t of n by 2 plus t of n by 2 plus for merging it is n so ultimately you can actually write t of n equal to 2t of n by 2 plus n. So this recurrence relation is very important. If you are not, not if you could not find out the correct recurrence relation, you cannot analyze correctly. So this could be a recurrence relation for Marshall. What is the n? n is total number of data n is the total number of data right <clears throat> okay so let's try to analyze this one uh, you see in case of mod short this whole what is the distribution of data present in this array doesn't matter. It will go till I have only one element in the segment, right? So that means, let's uh, step by step expand, I mean actually the equation. So let's start from here, the T of N. 2t n by 2 plus n. Now this one, now what about t of n by 2? What about t of n by 2? If you write t of, if I ask you what is t of n by 2, he will say it will be t of n by 4 plus t of n by 4 plus this one n by 2 
that means 2t n by 4 plus n by 2 right right just a minute yes okay so that means this particular expression if i can write over here t of n by only in place of t of n by 2 then it become 2 into it become 2 t n by 4 plus n by 2 that means 2 t n by 4 plus n by 2 this part is only for t of n by 2 another part is left so i must have write plus n so ultimately what i will get i will get 2 into 2 that is 4 t n by 4 plus this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and only n will left plus n. So as a whole I will get 4t n by 4 plus 2n. Similarly if some I ask you what about nt of n by 4. If you look keep on doing the similar type of doing relation for n by 4. What basically I you will get. I hope you can understand that you will get. 4 into 2t n by 8 instead of 4 because I am trying to expanding this n by 4 only. So it will be 2t n by 8 plus n by 4. At least I can predict this one with respect to this pattern because of when it was n by 2 I have written n by 4 and I have written n by 2 here. So that's why when I am expanding n by 4, I should be n by 8 and then I will write n by 4 over here. So, I am sorry. So, yes, tell me. Is this clear? By the way, I forgot to write the whole thing. So, I must write plus 2n. Then, as a whole, I will write 4 into 2, that is 8t n by 8 plus this 4 and this 4 will get cancelled out and only n will left. So, n plus 2n, that means 8t n by 8 plus 3n. So, just try to realize this point, this point, this point. I hope you can predict the next one. What I will get? Basically, I will get 16t n by 16 plus 4n. Now, why I am writing this one? Because you see, we are getting a pattern from this, this case. If you look after this one, this one, this one. From these three, I have predicted this one. Considering a pattern. The pattern is that. Let's write the pattern first. So, pattern, let's write the pattern. Pattern is T of N is equal to you see this denominator. The denominator is increasing with respect to the power. So, I can write in general that uh, 2 to the power i t n by 2 to the power i plus i n. You see, we had 2 before t and at the denominator 2. At the initial 4, denominator 4. Being multiplied with 8, denominator is 8. So, whatever is present here, is present here also. And 
this is 2 to the power of this one. What we have, you see. 2 to the power 2 is 4. 2 to the power actually 1 is this one. So that's why I have written 2 to the power i, which is in. Now see, this pattern is following almost similar pattern as, as we have seen in binary search. We have seen that. In case of binary search, maybe this 2 to the power i was not present, doesn't matter. But one thing is common that we are actually decreasing the space of searching or sorting and whatever. How? As much i increases, the iteration increases, this 2 to the power i will increase and as a whole n by 2 to the power i will go on decreasing. And a time will come when as, I, as we all know that we will have only one element in the set for sorting. And that is the point from where we will start revert back. So, and that I know. Since there is only one element, how much time it will take to sort an element, sort a set with one element, I know. That's a constant. So, that means to realize the expression of the whole equation, we have to somehow consider e n by 2 to the power i should be equal to 1 at some, at some value of i. So if I consider this one, naturally, again I will get same thing that 2 to the power i means n. And if I put a log for both case, both side. So ultimately I will get i equal to log n. So if i equal to log n, so let's I can write over here. Now obviously log base 2. Okay, so this is base 2. So that means the 2 to the power i that I will write is n into t of it will be equal to 1 as we have considered plus this i will be equal to log n base 2. So, n multiplied by log n base 2 is i n. Now, you see, in this particular equation, I have two terms. One is constant. I mean, I mean one term is associated with the constant. So, forget about constant. Because we all, we all know that for very large value of n, constant will not there. So, constant doesn't have any significance. So, since t of a1 will basically some constant amount of time, forget about this, I mean, contribution of this part. But there is one more term which is not, con I mean, constant, that is n. And in other side, we have n log n. Now, since we are considering worst case scenario, in a worst case scenario, last day, I have told you in my complexity analysis introduction class that I must consider the term which is dominating the another term in the same equation. For example, for example, if we have a equation something like x square plus 2x. maybe uh, plus log x or something like that and I'm I want to know if is big O of what in worst case that mean you must consider the term which is dominating in the other terms I have three terms in the equation which one is higher with the if x is towards infinity which will dominate the other terms. Obviously, I can find x square will dominate. Because if you if you just put the graph, it will become something like this. 
and this is 2x and this is log x. So naturally this will, this equation, this curve will dominate the other curve. The performance will entirely going to depend on this curve, the performance of this f. So that's why I will say it is big of n square because I have a square term. That's all. I mean x square. Sorry. Similarly, since I have two terms over here, one is n dot c, some constant value, and another is n log n. Naturally, for very large value of n, for very value of n, this n log n, n multiplied by log n will be greater than n naturally. That is why I can say that in worst case, of March short, time taken to execute March short on n data will be big O of n log n. Any doubt you have regarding what we have discussed? It is an example. I have just given an example. Just showing that why, I mean, just as the recap that I told you uh, which one is dominating, right? Dominating term. Depends on that, basically, we take the which term will be considered as for B, considering big O to realize that, that's why that's what an example. So, this uh, whole day, I mean, why much short complexity is n log n, you know, I hope you have understood, right? Okay. Now one more thing, every time we are considering worst case in case of March short, but you see, since the March short algorithm does not think about what is the distribution of the data in the set, that means whether the data is kept in some specific order or not, blindly it does the division with half and it continue do that and then it start merging. So, if I assume the data is already sorted, that means it should be in a best case scenario, data is already sorted, then also there is no intelligence present within the merge shot so that merge shot will not continue anymore. Mapshot will do the same thing for data is sorted or not sorted, doesn't matter. That is why uh, in case of it's not true only for worst case, this equation, this expression is true for best case also. So, this expression is same for best case also. Okay. So, now you will go for, okay, so uh, is it clear to you?
Hello. Okay. Okay, just a minute.